Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today we would like to use the Rhino 7 Subti to talk about this dragon wing shape and how to set the bezel set right in the middle for this pendant. Are you ready? Let's get started. So to start in creating this wing, we have two parts right here. This part here, the biggest part, it's going to be with the sub D and then we're going to have the bezel set. So just for the drawing purpose, I'm going to use mesh outline and to creating an outline there for us to start in front of scratch. So this is the basic outline here. I'm just going to draw something really quick to show you what my plan is. So ideally every of the peak, for example, you're going to come in over here, you're going to see that there will be a line right there and there will be another line roughly going like there. So this is the peak. So every peak you're going to have a row of a sub D and another peak, another lower spot you have the row of sub D. So we're going to have a sub D for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's going to be a row. Let me finish the drawing here to show you what they supposed to look like. Something like this. We are going to create some sort of a structure going like this way and going, I'm missing one here, something like this and going to have it coming down something like this. Right. So those are the structure. That's where we're going to create a sub D. So I'm going to temporarily to hide those line right here. And then uh, we're going to starting to draw the faces. So I'm going to hide in this one uh, with the sub D tool that you have. Uh, you're going to starting to creating a sub D with the single faces. I mean, there are many different ways to creating the sub D. Um, the first faces that I'm going to have is here. And if it doesn't follow the outline, that's OK. Uh, we can tap it into the box more and sometimes it's easier for us to manipulate it. All right. So then I have this one, first one. And how do I continue to drop the to sub D is we have the sub D faces. This one is called appended to sub D and we're going to pick up the sub D. So how are you going to append it? We are going to pick up the age. So from age is equal. Yes. Um, there are different way to do it. I personally just prefer this way. So I'm going to continue to draw enter and pick up the edges one more time he enter and pick up the edges one more time he enter and we're gonna building this faces one by one it might appear to be like really uh it has a lot of work to do but believe me once you get used to it it, sh it should be all right i might need to have this one close to this edge but i'm going to keep it like that first all right, so now I have the first one. The second one, you don't have to draw the whole row. The quickest way is you're going to pick up this edges right here. One, two, three, four, five. And then we want to just going to extrude it, All right? So when we extrude it, I also want to move it down. Something look like this. And we might just need to adjust the very last one with the point. I want to bring this point coming over here. All right, uh, try to uh, match into this design of the outline as close as possible. All right. So once we have that, we're going to pick up this one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And then we want to extrude it one more time, bring it down close to here, adjust if you need it for the certain things. So this one should go into the peak. So I might actually need to bring in all those points come closer to what we are planning to have something like this all right and then that coming to close to this end right here all right so now we have this uh, we need to continue to join the next one will be on this lower spot so again i'm going to pick up the edge of this sub the edges and then I'm going to extrude it coming out bring over here and I might need to have this because it's coming shorter so I'm going to pick up all this point and 1d scale them in and bring it a bit lower right 
Uh, and then I try to make sure they look nicer and follow the design. Something like this. Something like this. All right, so it's, it's straighter over there. So it is a bunch of uh, extruding and sometimes you can rotate it coming down here, maybe rotate it too much. You'll get something like this. So next one we need to have coming into this point. So again, I'm going to fast forward over here and then you can see what I do in a faster speed. On the very last section, we don't need to have so many to jamming into it. So I'm going to extrude it with this guy. So that way we're coming more like this way. And then we're going to extrude it one more time. All right. So now we have everything. Um, that's moving this part back to here. And let's take a look on our perspective and see if that structure look okay to you. We can also tap it back to what we have. So now what we have here, it's like after you tap it back to the smooth mode, it might need to do additional adjustment. Maybe I wanted to have this fitting into my design better and by point uh, tweaking with the point that you can kind of drag them into the correct place that fitting into the design better. So we can continue to doing something like this something like this. If you feel like this is like you need additional one, you can add in another piece right here. That would be fine too. And I want to moving those two here. All right, double check. Like something like this, when you tweaking into the smooth mode, you might not know it's like dragging over too much. So you, you do not want them to be like collapse into each other like this one. That will have a potential problem later. So I might need to adjust a little bit. All right. So I'm going to leave that to you for you to tweak it. I'm going to continue to finish this one. So once you have this one, we are going to pick up all the peak that we have and to be higher point. So I'm going to pick certain in the middle right here. This one, for example, this one. And most likely, so for most of the peak, and also the very last one here. Okay, so I would like them to be higher. So I'm going to simply just move them up a little bit to giving some dimension. So you can see on my perspective view right here, I'm going to use the gumball to move them up. Right, so they have this zigzag looking. Oh, I forgot this point. So I'm going to pick this up and moving up there. All right, so you can see I already have some dimension right there. Right there, and if you take a look back to the mold that you can see here. Now this is the time for you to tweak it to make uh, more sense on these surfaces. For example, uh, this everything here, maybe in the middle, you want to pick it up a little bit. So I'm going to fast forward here for you to see what I do. All right, so I took it a little bit. So now we get the shape like this. And then if I toggle it back to the shape and then you can continue to tweak it to get it more close to what you want. Uh, sometimes I would like to do is in on this high point right here, I would like to, to end them uh, the same height because that when they're getting into my setting over there, they will look a little bit better. So I'm going to coming into my right view and using the gumball type is zero so they align and bring them back to the ground so something like this all right so you can make it more dramatic if you want to i'm going to come into the next step here so now i have this wing right here i need to have some certain thickness right so i'm going to pick up my sub d and you have the command under the sub d for offset sub d and then you can offset for whatever direction uh whichever direction either to the forward or to the back and then we wanted to set up the distance in this case for 0.6 solid equal yes 0.6 might be too thin. Let's do 0.8 and solid equal yes. And then we'll get something like this. Uh, one thing you want to watch out if you have any twisting like what we have here. If you do, it, when you turn into the box mode, it might be 
crashing back to each other so we want to examine like something if there's something wrong here to starting from from the beginning right you can also offset try to offset on the other side so so far look like they are okay there's nothing crashing into each other so what also like i like to do is offset the sub d in other directions so i'm going to flip it all of them and then we do the same distance and we'll see if that's coming better right so it's because the direction is coming in really weird there so let's take a look on the uh smooth mode all right so if you like this one but we don't like the edges too sharp we can coming over here that you have removed crease and you just go ahead to select everybody so it will be rounded off there all right see this has a little bit pinches but it's still a valid one so then you can continue to edit it so maybe like the the wing that we have on the bottom those are too fat so i might want to pick up those points uh, and then I just kind of scale it down a little bit and those points right here scale even more so I I want them to have it coming into more taper on my side view instead of all the way the same distance right and then you can continue to pick up for example right here I want them to coming out uh, maybe right here to fitting into the design a little bit better like this one I need to coming in so you can continue to edit until you find the shape you want all right so I'm going to stop it right there for the stone setting you can simply just bring in the stone and then you can download the stone at the description below once you have a stone here we want to do the stone setting so basically you're gonna just do a simple bezel so i'm going to come up to draw a curve and this curve is going to be corny corner on my rectangle and something look like this i need to make them a little bit thinner i don't need to have a super thick wall and once i have it here i'm going to align both of them on the horizontal center right here and I just need to make sure that it's sufficient enough so maybe not as wide so I'm gonna coming over here moving this down like this all right so let me change the colors easier for you to see it seems like so many line there so you see this is where the bezel is going to be and make sure that you are cool it does not stick it out so something is going to look like this and once you have that we're going to use the surface command for revolve and we're gonna revolve for 100 uh, 360 degree and then we'll get the bezel like this right so once you have the bezel let's move it the bezel to where that we want it and something like that and that will be our dragon wing or the butterfly wing or simply just a wing and then you can put the chain after and then put it a half jump ring so that way it will uh, holding your chain over there i hope you enjoy the video if you like the way i model check out the membership program all my online course uh, that's a specific design for jewelry 3d model Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.